saw another beast rising out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. By the signs that it is allowed to work in the presence of the beast, it deceived those who dwell on earth, telling them to make an image. Here's where we get into the image. Basically, the worship of their god, Diana, who's worshipped throughout the whole province of Asia, is at stake because they were craftsmen. So they, they used to make images to Diana. It's a very interesting connection because when you look at the black stone of the Kaaba, there's a very interesting similarity that you see. The messenger of Allah said about the black stone, by Allah, Allah will rise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees, testifying to whoever touched it in truth. So yeah, the reason why they touched the black stone, it's crazy bro. The reason why they touched the black stone is because... This image was given breath so that it was allowed or sorry, I, I think I lost my place. So the image of the beast might even speak and might cause those who would not worship this image to be slain. Now, this brings us in to this very interesting connection that my brother found in Acts 19.35. So go ahead. Take it away, bro. Sweet. So in Acts 19, we see Paul and his companions they're in Ephesus, which again is in the region of uh, Turkey today. So they were in Asia at the time. And <clears throat> they're there proclaiming Christ. Uh, they're there giving the, the good news, the gospel. And then the men of Ephesus, they're kind of plotting against Paul at this point, saying that um, basically the worship of their god, Diana, who's worshipped throughout the whole province of Asia, is at stake because they were craftsmen. So they, they used to make images to Diana. So they stirred up the whole people, saying that they're going to basically tarnish the image of Diana so that they could keep up their craftsmanship and earn a, a, a living. So the verse says, and this was the city clerk at the time trying to quiet down the crowd because they were shouting um, greatest Artemis or mm -hmm. Akbar Artemis, right? It says, um, the city clerk quieted the, the crowd and said, fellow Ephesians, doesn't, doesn't the world know that the city of, of Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis and of her image which fell from heaven? So back then, and guys, you, you, should, you could do a, a search on this. They worshipped um stones right they worshipped the, especially specifically that stone right. that in the middle mm -hmm. wasn't a, a meteorite that fell from the sky and it was literally called an image by paul so paul calls this right. meteorite, this stone an image which was worshipped at the time in ephesus by the men of ephesus by the people of ephesus and they recognized this stone as the great goddess diana which was worshipped throughout the whole region and i think it's really important when you guys read that um in your own time you will see that uh, when they realized that Paul and his companions were Jews, they even they, they were even more incited with, you know, this this hatred towards them, and then they were still proclaiming that greatest Diana, greatest Diana. So, so that was the whole exactly because it's you know, and I, I when I saw this connection, it was pretty wild because you know it talks about this this rock falling from heaven, and they they use this rock to worship Artemis or or Diana. That's and right. So that's it's a very interesting connection because when you look at the black stone of the Kaaba. There's a very interesting similarity that you see. Now, real quick, before we get into the black stone, I want you guys to know that me and Leroy got a ton of objections to this video within the comments about the image of the beast and the mark of the beast being Islamic. We went ahead and answered 10 of the most common objections that we got over on the Kingdom Podcast Patreon. So if you want to go ahead and see that, go ahead and click right here. We will give you our 10 most in-depth explanations as to what actually the image of the beast is now if you actually want to watch the full live stream that's still available on the youtube so you can go ahead and check that out the link will be in the description no questions asked but if you want to go deeper onto what we're actually speaking about and you want to see these 10 objections answered check us out over on the patreon so let's get back into why the image of the beast could possibly be the black stone yeah so um <clears throat> this is the uh the call isn't it? the call to prayer well here i'll read this because it's kind of yeah. hard for you to see so it says Call all people to the pilgrimage. They will come to you on foot and on every camel from every distant path so they may obtain the benefits in store for them and, pro and pronounce the name of Allah, the name of the beast, right? On appointed days over the sacrificial animals he has provided for them. So eat from their meat and feed the desperately poor. Let them groom themselves, fulfill their vows and encircle the ancient house. Now this ancient house, the Kaaba holds the black stone a very similar object found within this di um this artemis di diana worship this this meteor that fell from heaven so so go ahead yeah so this stone basically 
they are required to uh, perform Hajj as one of the five pillars of Islam. So um, one, in it, uh, one time in every Muslim's life, at least once, they're required to perform Hajj, which is to circle the, the Kaaba, the black stone, or at least kiss and touch it, which you would see a lot of footage of them doing that. And the reason is because Muhammad touched it and kissed it. And they do so to sort of um, imitate what he was doing. But there's more to it as we go along. So um, just to read this quickly, the messenger of Allah said about the black stone, by Allah, Allah will rise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with, testifying to whoever touched it in truth. So yeah, the reason why they touched the black on. stone, <laughs> it's crazy, bro. The reason why they touched the black stone is because supposedly in the last days, it's going to gain eyes and a mouth and it's going to talk and testify in favor of all those who touched it in truth and intercede for them. So you can see the sort of blasphemous counterfeit that is trying to, it's just trying to basically supplant Christ and say, oh, well, Christ isn't the only means of, of intercession for your sins. In fact, this black stone uh, is it's a form of intercession for your sins. And that's why it turned black, supposedly. So do you think, I think that was good. Do you think specifically this black stone is the image of the beast that's going to be worshipped in the last days? I think it's a very big likelihood. I think it's a yeah. very high possibility. Imagine that, because it's very clear. It says it's going to gain eyes and a mouth and speak in favor of those who touched it to Allah.